Thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a SKU column on sales forms. So let's get started. So I'm on QuickBooks Online homepage here. I'm going to go to uh, uh, Invoice. I'm going to open Invoice here. Invoice or Sales Succeed or Estimate. They're all sales forms. So what we're talking about here is to add SKU column on sales invoice in here so you know uh, when you print it you know you can send SKU uh, to your customers okay so the first thing you want to do to add SKU column to your sales form is you need to go to uh, your settings and uh, here is your settings and in here right here it's the uh, so SKU column. So if you don't see the SKU column uh, under product and services, that means uh, uh, QuickBooks has an added to yours and it's coming soon. So this should be on once you have this one on. And the second thing you want to do is, uh, uh, of course, you need to add uh, when you create uh, your product and services. Uh, just add the SKU column in here. Let's say you want to create uh, gadget one, and uh, so this one will say gadget number. Like normally, when you create SKU, it's uh, either your unique part number or manufacturer's part number. Let's say this is the manufacturer's part number, like this, and let's say. Uh, uh, it's zero in here. You just bought it today. Any interest? asset, let's say you're going to sell this for $100 and it's taxable, and the cost, let's say, is $50. So, okay, I already have that gadget one, so I'm going to call this gadget 100. There we go. So I've created. Uh, gadget 100 in here I'm going to just going to source it here gadget 100 right here so I have cost in here and I don't have any quantity so to add quantity all you have to do is you have to buy it of course let's say uh, uh, I bought something. I, I just, you know, write a check. So it's uh, adding inventory, solid item details. So if you just ask, say 100, you should see uh, gadget 100 right here. Okay, and let's say this is uh, 10, cost is 5. So I'm going to save it. Okay, I need class in here. Okay, so now I can go to invoice and create customer in here. And as I just said, you can just type to SKU, it'll, uh, it'll display it, you know, or you can just type a product and service item number or SKU number, it'll, you know, it'll, you'll see both. Okay, and let's say quantity is two, like this. Now you can print and preview. Like this, as you can see here, in this case, uh, you don't see the SKU when you try to print it. It's on the screen, but when you try to print it, it's not there. The reason being, 
this SKU to print is only available in one uh, invoice style. So you need to choose the airy one in here. This is the one. Airy one is the one has a, a SKU that you can print. And save this one. So you must be wondering what is this airy thing. I'm going to show you. As you can see here now, you know, SKU is right here. Or you can change the SKU, make it column one or column two uh, from the uh, form styles. So that's where I'm going to show you how to do it. So the custom form style, uh, it's right here, SKU. You can make it order two or order one, and it has to be area only to go to uh, customize form style. Uh, from here, what you do is in here, uh, custom form styles right here uh, company gear upper right corner select custom form style so this is the one you want to you know print a skew column on you say so this is the one airy this is the one I want to select and uh, if you're just creating a new one if you just I already have this one on the list so say if you just want to create a new one in here new style and uh, invoice that's fine and you want to select the style in here so this is the one you want to select airy one this is the one airy will say airy so this is the one you want to select once you select this under activity table you will see skew air only all right in this case order two so you can make it order one or two order one here description two and you can uh, make it a little bigger if you need it you know uh, so that's how you have to do it. So here's your invoice, invoice, and ready to print. Do so. Right here. Make it bigger. Oops, let's see. There we go right here so if you won't fit then you have to make it column a little bit bigger you know and all you have to do is customize this and make this bigger like this you know like this and save it and next time it will be you know you can fit it okay uh so that's how you have to uh create uh add uh, skew column on your uh, sales forms well, thank you for watching this video. Visit our website for a uh, new QuickBooks update. Thank you. Bye.